Hello guys, it is here. Our latest PSA, oh, I can't really see it here, but our latest PSA returns. Um, this one got a bit delayed, of course, with all the PSA delays they had generally. And then further delays we had, um, like being charged at customs. But finally we have it in our possession. And I'll get the boxes out and pop them on the table now. I believe this one was an 80 card submission. But honestly, with the amount we do, I can't remember what, what we actually sent in this time around. Oh. Of course we will start with box number one, if I can find it. And get us underway. So we have... Oh, we have our name on this one to begin with. That's pretty cool. Very nicely written as such. So is this box number one? I can't really tell. I'll leave that there. Yeah. That's box number two. So we've got five boxes in total. I'm gonna get some of these out, I'd be careful. Right, box number four. Three. So we are probably oh you're very light, whatever you are. Box number five, right, so the one with my name on is box number one. If I move all you out of the way. Of course, as ever, we have a gem mint count in the bottom. Hopefully we can uh, match some of the old uh, gem mints we've been picking up from the last submissions. And we will get started straight away. Oh, I can never cut these. Right, there we go. Is that cut? There we go. Alright, box number one. Let's see what we sent in. Have our lovely cards uh, that way. Uh, over there. Right, let's get started. So, as ever, we have nines on the left hand side, tens in the middle, and eights and below on the right hand side. So, a bit of an awkward leaning stack already. We have some new back Japanese. Oh, we're already into our um, LP promo. So we have the 2010 World Championship Ho promo. Uh, this one comes sealed with the Lugia. So, good start in terms of getting uh, Gem Mint 10s to begin with. So, this will probably be the. No, it's not the Lugia. It's the Gym Challenge Fire Energy. So, another LP promo we were gunning for, but not a PSA 10. Still looks very nice in terms of the. Uh, the hollow pattern though, so you're nine. Get you over there, buddy. I have no idea on the order of this because they were quite far down on the uh, the submission list. Okay, so we have a shining ho. -Oh. So this was the first one we actually entered on the the uh, the list, and this has a PSA nine. So looking very nice. Um, it has a little nick down the bottom corner there, so that's probably why it's got a nine. Uh, so, lots of fire stuff coming out to start with. Next up we have another English card and we have the weakness policy. Uh, another PSA 9 there. And another nice looking secret rare. Has a little bit of a corner markings on so not, well, not too bad getting a 9 grade. Um, moving back into Japanese we have a near mint seven. That's very low for an Ashes Pikachu. I mean, what's wrong with this card? Can't really tell in from the top corner. Can I focus in on him? Hmm. How very odd. That's very low for uh, such a new promo card. So not happy on that one. Um, we have another Japanese, maybe this is more of the Get Campaign stuff. That is, so is our second Gemmint 10 we have coming in. Uh, these Get Campaign Ashes Pikachus are for real Pokemon Matt. And he's got one Gemmint 10 coming in, or hopefully more. 
Yep, so we've got another of the Ashes Pikachus and another Gem and Turn, which looks very nice. And hopefully that's replicated again. And it's another Neiman 7. What the hell's wrong with these cards? I see like a little corner nick, but I can't see anything that will justify it being a 7. That's very bizarre that we're getting such low grades for such new cards. Hmm. Ah, we have another gem at 10, okay, so let's see what the difference is between these two. I guess I can see some slight whitening on the top of this one. In terms of centering, they both look fairly similar. How very bizarre. But nevertheless, we have another gem at Mint 10. You can see him. Come on. There he is. So, that's what's that? Three of the Get to Campaign Pikachus of PSA 10. There's, what have we got? Six, seven, probably two more. And another gem in 10, which is lovely. So that's four out of the six of gem in 10. Oh, so I guess he only sent in six for that uh, mini set. Uh, we also have the Charizard GX. It looks very nice. Uh, PSA 9 is the English version. So uh, what's this from? Some sort of... I don't know what the set's called now. I don't know what the English set's called. But... Well, in Japanese it would be to have seen the Battle Rainbow. Burning Shadows, that's what it is. It says it on the card. No, it doesn't. No, it's a, it's a promo. Oh, don't mind me. What am I saying? Alright. We have a Shining Lugia to follow that card though. So, PSA 10 on that one. Looking very nice. Uh, moving on with our Japanese themes. We have a Shining Genesect. Another PSA 10, another nice looking card. We're going back to English for this card. Well, the next couple of cards. And it's a hyper rare shiny, oh, not shiny Mewtwo, just a Mewtwo GX. Um, a lovely hollow pattern that one has. That's PSA 9 on that one. And moving us along, we have another Shining ho -Oh and another Mint 9. So this will probably have a little bit, yep, it's got a little corner nick in the bottom left. So not too bad having a mint 9 on that one. Our oh, mint 9s are getting higher than our gem mint 10s nearly. Hopefully we have some more gem mint 10s with these Japanese cards. And we do, okay, we're into the poncho cards. So we have the um, Eevee Mega Campaign, this is the Sylveon Poncho Eevee. So let's try and pull it back with some of these poncho cards. I think we sent four of each. Uh, we got nine. What the hell? Centering looks pretty dodgy on some of these cards. Well, that's a bit annoying. So, that's two out of the four Sylveon. Oh my god. Another nine. Ah, oh, three nines. That is ridiculous. Okay. So, last card of this box. What have we got coming up? It'll be another Poncho. It's probably Sylveon. It's Glaceon. And we do have a 10. So, hopefully, we can get a Gem Mint 10 set of these guys. So, let me just separate you two out. And we'll go into box number two, which is you. Get a little cutting on it. Alright, so I'm gonna try you coming up that way. Alright, so we are on to Glaceon. And let's see if we can get some more gem mint tens for Glaceon. Oh, no, we're not. We are on to the metal energy, so. Another nine as well. So we did have the fire energy from the gym challenge uh, LP promo mini set, and that also got a nine. So this could be anything, and it's the oh, okay. So we got nines on all of our gym challenge uh, hollow energies, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. 
Uh, moving swiftly into... Ah, okay, so we're back to Glaceon now. So we have another gem in 10, which looks very nice there. And that is great to see we have two gem in 10s of the same promo. Ah, we're back to 9 as well now. That's a bit annoying, but oh well. The show must go on. So we, ah, okay, so we've got three out of the four got Gem Mint 10. As long as we get Espeon and Umbreon in Gem Mint 10s, that'd be, well, I say as long as we, we want all of them in Gem Mint 10s, to be honest. But those two especially. Uh, okay, so we have the Leaf Beyond, and that is a Gem Mint 10. So that's three of the, what have we got? Five, six, seven, eight. Evolutions. Um, hopefully, we can get more of the 10s, and we do. So, we have another Leafion. Uh, so, so, we got three out of four. Hey, we got four out of four, finally. So, all four of our Leafions got Gem and 10, which is very nice. Um, what are we going to move into now? Maybe this is the Umbreon, it is. I'm going to slow that down a little bit, but we do have a Gem Mint 10. So that is wonderful to have an Umbreon in Gem Mint 10. Hopefully we can get the other three in 10s. We do get two. Can we get the third one? Yep, yeah, so we got three. Nice, good start. And the fourth. Yes, so we have four Gem Mint 10 Umbreons of the EV Mega campaign. That's awesome. Oh, no, wrong pile. Very happy with that. Four out of uh, eight gem mints. So, halfway there on the set. And it continues with Espeon. Lovely. Nice. Another gem mint ten. And can we replicate what the Umbreon did? We have another gem mint. We have a third. Can we get that fourth? Yes. Alright, so we do have four out of four gem mint tens on Umbreon, not Umbreon, Espeon. That is wonderful. Um, what have we got? So we've got Jolteon, Flareon and Vaporeon remaining. Yes, we have another ten and it's the Flareon. Very lovely hollow pattern on that one. That's very nice. Uh, last two will probably be the other two Flareons. Uh, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We have two more gem mints. Awesome. So, one more of the Flareons we need um, for four gem mints again. Let's see if we can get box three. So, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Hopefully, the ordering is a bit better so we can actually have Flareons next as well. We shall see. Right, so coming out that way, nice. Such a mess around this, I'm all these boxes. Right, can this be the last Flareon now? So, oh no, it's a Shining Legends ho -Oh. not Shining Legends, Shining Legends promo. Um, it's the Shining ho -Oh. so gem at 10. Not the Flareon we wanted, but still a gem at 10 that we maybe did want. Um, moving us in to a Shining Arceus, or Arceus, whatever you want to say. Another gem in 10. Uh, we've still got to find our elusive Flareon then. We're still missing one Flareon. Oh, there we are. It's a nine. Okay. Well, we've got three out of four in terms of the gem in 10s for these guys. Another nine, which doesn't help, but hopefully the Vaporeon and Jolteon managed to get gems as well. Yes, so we have one gem on the Jolteon. That's putting us very close. What have we got? Seven out of eight. And we have another gem in ten. Three out of four of the Jolteons. Ah, okay. The last one lets down again. So we had three out of four and then we had one mint nine which seems to be a little bit of a theme but now is the moment of truth will we get the full set 
in PSA 10. Yes, we did, okay. So, we have all of them. We have the Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, nice looking Espeon, best looking Umbreon, uh, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. So, full sets there, it's wonderful. I'll leave you down there. Uh, we're still on Vaporeon, so. So, uh, we've got nine. Well, I'm very happy we've got the full set for that anyway. Don't really matter if these are nine. Oh my god, they're all nines. Oh, they're all nines. So we just scraped through there. Had one out of four Gemmint Tens for the Vaporeon. So that's wonderful we managed to tick that um, Gemmint Ten set off. But moving us along, we have... Ah, okay, so we're on to our Full Art Trainers. We have a Full Art Zerosic, so another one for the PSA 10 list. That's wonderful that we got PSA 10 on him. Uh, uh, we have a PSA 9 on our Wick. Not too sure why you got a 9, because you look pretty nice. I think that's the first nine full arts we've actually sent in. That's gutting, I might look at that one at a later date. Right, so, come on PSA 10s. Yes, so we have Wally full art. So another PSA 10 ticked off for these, this Japanese subset. I can't remember how many we got now, but this will help us very much in terms of uh, completing that set. Um, we have the Team Flare Grunt and another PSA 10. Ah, nice. So we have Skylar Full Art. So this is the promo from um, the Blue Shock Red Flash. It was when um, well, it's the equivalent of Breakpoint came out, which is very nice. Uh, I think this will probably be the other Skylar. Ah, nice, okay, so we have the Plasma Gale and the Promo, both in Gemmint 10. They look very nice, so very happy to have those two in uh, PSA 10. Uh, moving us in to uh, Soft Calls. Got a PSA 9, so that's, again, what's, what's going on with, oh, the centering is a bit dodgy on that one. Well, that's a shame. I'll have to get another soft course for the collection. Uh, oh my god, what the hell is going on here? We have a PSA 9 Mallow. Again, centering looks very far to the right here, so you can see this, this uh, very thick left border. Oh, that's a shame. So, what's that? That's like three nines from our full art set. That's quite unlike our usual send offs. Ah, lovely. So we have a Full Art N from the Best of XY, who looks very nice, if you can uh, focus in on him. There he is. Lovely to have that one in a PSA 10, so quite happy about that. I know the, um, what have we got? We've got a, an Ace, Ac Acrola, Ace Roller in this submission, so hopefully she gets a 10, because I know she was a... Uh, Quite an expensive pickup. I think Lily's also in this set as well to set this submission. So hopefully we get tens on those two. Uh, where do we go? We'll get that way. All right. So let's see if we move on with the full arts. Uh, no, we don't. We have a Shining Volcanion and another PSA 9. We've got quite a few PSA 9s. See our stack here is all PSA 9s. We very rarely get such a high stack, which is uh, surprising. Um, okay, we're moving to Old Back now. So, no idea what this card is. Ah, it's the Shining Raichu. Name it eight as well. Uh, so he's got a little bit of a corner whitening. I completely forgot we sent this card in. Oh, that's a bit annoying that he got a Nimit eight though. He looks very nice. 
Ah, I'm going to have to get another Raichu. That's a bit annoying. Ah, maybe... I think we sent an Espeon, didn't we? We do have a um, Daisuke Club Espeon coming in. Could be this, because I know I sent it next to the Raichu. That's not. Oh, that's another off-centred uh, full art, so Professor Kuki. And you can see the bottom is uh, quite thick, the top's quite thin. Another nine for our full art, so that's a bit annoying. Hopefully the lily um, is a ten there, that'd be good. Oh, we do have uh, Professor Juniper in a ten. So that's another of the uh, the BW full arts that we got ticked off from our full arts uh, collection. I'm not sure why that's bending. The Leaning Tower of Pisa here. Uh, moving us along, we have another ten in the Pokemon Ranger. So that's very nice. Um, what have we got? So there's X Y era. And can we keep the pattern up? We can. We have the Shining Legends Pokemon Breeder. It's a very nice card and very happy to have that one in the 10. Ah, nice. Okay, so we have Best of XY uh, Karen. So nice to have that one as well. Getting these ticked off, which is wonderful. Oh my god. Okay. Lily got a 9. Oh wow, her centering's pretty bad. I don't know why I didn't check this uh, when we sent them out. The loss of the centering on these is pretty uh, bottom heavy. Oh, it's a shame she got a 9. Ah, oh, I got about that. Let's pick up another Lily. Um, hopefully, none of the others follow that suit. Oh, we do have Iris, uh, the very colourful full art trainer card, and she picked up a gem in 10. So that's very nice, very happy with that one. Um, this one looks pretty good, and it is, it's the Hex Maniac. So very nice to have another 10 on that one, might as well put them down here. We don't have that many cards left, and... This box seems very light, so I'm not too sure what's in that. Um, hopefully we can continue these tens. I don't even remember how many full arts we've sent in. But that is shocking. A near mint 8 on our Hala. Oh my god, you don't even make the other 9 par. That's, that's gutting. That's very low. What's going on here? Come on, let's get a 10 now. Oh my god, Guzma. Guzma got a 9 as well. Uh, some of the centering on some of these cars is uh, not the best. Not happy with that one. Okay. Let's get back to 10s now. Here we go. So we have Bridget is a 10. Um, so this is the Blue Shock expansion. Let's get back to 10 ways. And we do with the Blacksmith, another of the Best of XY promos. Looking nice there. I think we've got most of the Best of XY now. I'm trying to think which other ones we don't have. I don't think we have Delinquent yet, but I'm not sure if we've uh, sent that one in or not. Um, we have a full art battle reporter. And what's coming up next? We have a full art AZ. Uh, Phantom Gate, another PSA 10, which is lovely. Uh, last few cards remaining. What have we got? Oh my god. Okay, Ace Roller got a 9 as well. Ah, I see her uh, centering is pretty poor along the left and right hand side. That's very annoying. So both of our expensive uh, full art trainer cards we picked up both got nines, which is quite gutting. So I'm going to have to pick up a ten on that one fairly soon, hopefully. Okay, so we're going into the LP promos again. We have a Porygon 2. 
So another German 10. I think that was it for Full Art Trainers. So I've got two cars remaining in a very light box. So I think we also have another Porygon. We do, and we have another German 10. So that's pretty nice. And last card here. What have we got? Oh, of course, so we have the, the other half of the World Championship uh, promos. We have the Lugia, so I think the ho picked up a 10. That was probably the first card we uh, had in this submission. And that leaves us on to this very light box. Well, I don't remember seeing our Daisuke Club Espion yet. Hopefully we can see that in this box. Finger. Right, we got. Yeah, I got a lot. Of oh, okay. So there's only one card in here. Very packed up, and then lots of bubble wrap. So this is probably the Espion, and this is one we picked up on Yahoo Japan. And I'm not sure what that is. It's like some sort of speck of dust underneath it. Hopefully that's not affecting the grade at all. Yes, nice. So we do have a Gemmint 10 on the Espion Prime or the Daisuke Club at 7,200 points Espion. So that's half of our uh, our small Daisuke set we want from the Primes complete. We just want the Umbreon and we'll be done on that little subset. So very nice and a very perfect fitting end to this video. I know we have a few German tens, but not as much as I'd hoped because I got quite a few nines and a bloody eight in Halla, which is a bit gutting. But that was our latest PSA submission. Um, we do have quite a few others coming in. Um, I know we're going to Japan over the next couple of weeks, so we will have some beautiful cards hopefully there. So be sure to check that out soon and I will see you guys in the next video.